All right, welcome back, Costa 50 folks. Professor Almeida here. Hope that your weekend has been treating you well. And in this video, I want to talk about week seven where we get into Microsoft PowerPoint. Hopefully you've had a chance to wrap up your Word assignments. Please don't leave things for the last minute. My weekend is pretty slammed and I am doing my best to get back to some of you folks out there, but that's no guarantee, okay? Don't wait until the last minute and please do allow 24 to 36 hours for me to get back to you. So let's make sure we get those word assignments turned in on time. Anyway, onward and upward, let's get into Microsoft PowerPoint. So again, starting with week seven, and this should be a familiar setup, folks, right? We have PowerPoint chapters one and two, your training sim and project, and then for those who like to work ahead, we have PowerPoint chapter three, and then the PowerPoint exams. So just like with Microsoft Word, it's the same setup, face-to-face -face folks, PowerPoint one project on Monday, and then PowerPoint two project on Wednesday. One important thing to note here, and that concerns the walkthroughs. You'll see that I've only done one walkthrough video, and that's just to show you how PowerPoint projects work in SAM. And to be quite honest, PowerPoint should be relatively straightforward, okay? A lot of the concepts that you learned in Microsoft Word can be brought over into PowerPoint. So for example, cutting, copying, and pasting, it's the same home tab clipboard group, the same keyboard shortcuts. You'll see similarities with the home tab font group. A lot of the selection techniques you learned, such as double clicking to select a word, triple clicking to select a paragraph or a bullet point, it's the same uh, between Word and PowerPoint. Okay, so a lot of the concepts you learned are going to carry over. And after watching the PowerPoint chapter one walkthrough, hopefully chapters two and three will make sense. And there'll be some new things thrown in, but if you do the training sims, hopefully you'll master those concepts. And again, whatever is not familiar to you or if you're struggling, be sure to take notes along the way. Anyway, have a good rest of your weekend. Let's make sure that we are staying on track, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.